Oh shit. Yeah, I can't win with that dog. Man. Nope, definitely not. Hello. Welcome to uh, American, American Whiskey Experience. That's us. That's American us. Whiskey Experience. Pete, James. Yeah. We got some dogs in the house. You might hear a little barking and crying. Yeah. Whatever. It is what it is. We apologize. Uh, bourbon and whiskey. Whiskey and dogs. Whiskey and dogs. There you go. American Whiskey and all that and, uh, stuff. We got some uh, cream Kentucky. Cream of Kentucky. Yes. I always, you know, I mess up. I always say Kentucky of cream, and I don't know why, but because you drink and you yeah, put things yeah, around. Yeah. Uh, that happens. Dyslexia, maybe. So this know, is so. a, uh, is a, uh, what we got? actually a straight white rye whiskey. Um, it's from J.W. Rutledge Distillery. Yeah. It was, uh, it was the former... Four Roses. Four Roses, right. Master right. Distiller for 20, or two, or over 20 years. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so he bought this. This is 100, 100 proof. Yep. It is a, a rumored to be around six years old. Yeah. Uh, we've seen a couple different age statements. Yeah, I'm going. Um, I like six. And the mash bill on this one is 100%, 100% lime and rye. Yeah. Um, and price plus was it was 86 I think you paid for something on there. Yeah, I mean, I paid I think like somewhere between I paid under 90 bucks. Uh, yeah. but I, yeah, I think it was like 86 something like that. I, which is a great deal because I think I've seen this for like well more. over $100. Yeah, 100. And uh, you yes. know, the Raymond if we're saying it right, rye is, right, is just a Rye, yeah, it's just different, a different variety, right? vari yeah. variation of rye. Yeah, um, everything that we looked online kind of means like I guess it, it's a high yielding rye, so okay. it grows fairly well and and full and a lot of it. So maybe that's why they're using it. Okay. Um, kind of cool though. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, cream of Kentucky, and it's bottled in bond. Yep. Uh, yeah. So you know, hundred proof. Um, and yeah, J W Rutledge. I mean, uh, he ended up. I guess at some point, I, so my understanding is Cream of Kentucky was around uh, for a while, and then um, somewhere that time came out of retirement and decided to buy uh, the distillery and then the name and everything like that, so now it's his, and this is a limited release. Yeah. I think only 70 barrels was produced oh, on the okay. bottom bond with the high okay. rye or the Raymond, 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 Raymond. Rye, uh, the, the estate. Rye, we'll Grown so pretty neat. Um, yeah, so 70 barrels of this unique Kentucky rye whiskey. Uh, it's one of a kind release from Cream of Kentucky. Pretty neat. Yeah. So uh, let's let's talk about the uh, color real quick because we do talk a lot about color. Yeah. yeah it's you know it's a dark it's, it's a nice color. Darker whiskey. Yeah, darker Not whiskey. Bad. Dark straw whiskey, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're gonna go with the nose. We're gonna spin a little bit because you like to spin. Uh, well, you, uh, should I give it a little spin for you to make you Yes, happy? you want to know why? Because the, the cream food. rises oh, to, to the top. top. Oh, there you go. When you spin. That's new. That's new. There's always something here. Always something. American always something. whiskey experience. At least on my side, there is when it comes to spinning. Right. So, this has been open. Oh, yeah. I dated it. Oh, you did? Yeah, wow. it, it's 2023, so I date all my bottles wow. now. So, it's been open uh, for three weeks? Yeah, so two, two to nine. Yeah. Um, yeah, about, about three weeks. Yeah, three weeks, so. Not bad. And, and done it. Yeah, done. Job. Yeah, he's gonna repeat that right. Sure. He must like it. I guess. I, I, full disclosure, I do like it. So, uh, what do you got for the nose? Interesting. Kind I'll of, let you go since I. Yeah, I, interesting kind of. Um, got my nose interesting here. aromas coming out of the rye. Where yeah. I, I, I definitely have some like, uh, like caramelized brown sugar. Um, I do get some of the the rye notes, like the, the chocolate, um, even like um, a little bit of, herby kind of. Oh, wow. Almost like uh, like fennel. Okay. Yeah, I can so see something that. Something like gardeny kind of, um, I don't know, like uh, not eucalyptus like that, but it's almost like there's, you know, some garden type, like, I don't think it's even, I don't even get mint or anything like that. It's not, mint, no, it's not a mint. It's not a mint. It's not a spearmint. It's not that type of mint, but I, I can no, say. No, but like there's something like a little bit of bright, like then on this type yeah thing, yeah like that. I, I can understand even, that even like cedar i could see cedar as well that you know? sweet side of the cedar yeah mm -hmm. all right so nice little rum is coming off then so it, it from my notes were again from about 2 9 2 10 and on that range so it, it changed a little bit yeah. uh i'm not getting as much originally right off the crack i was getting tons of like buttercream buttermilk okay. Sweetened buttermilk, confectionery sugar type smells. Okay. Uh, creamy corn. I was getting peanut. Oh, wow. Not really getting peanut now. Very, no. very faint on that peanut, dry peanut. But I am getting still um, what I got 
before I, and I'm getting cotton candy. Okay. Um, like, <sighs> so uh, we had the biggie. Uh, kind of like when you walk by the machine. When like you walk that, by the machine, that's okay. Like, so right. it's, again, it's that like confectionery like sugar. Or it's almost like that burnt, burnt sugar. Yep, yep. Like, I, I kind of got you know, so burnt brown sugar. When um, when you go to the Big E in New England, uh, and you go into Vermont, I think it is, and I think New Hampshire does it too. They make cotton candy. They make maple cotton candy. Cotton candy. Oh, it's okay. made fresh with their maple from the maple trees, and gotcha. and, the, and I tell you, it's when you walk by it, you smell it. That's what you get. Okay. And that's where I'm getting cotton candy from. Now, not everyone might not know it, okay. Uh, okay. but if you have a, like maple fresh maple cotton candy from a fair or something like that, fairgrounds, that's what you get. Okay. Um, well, I and it. I get a little bit of cola too, like flat cola. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Interesting. I gotta yeah. take a sip of this. Hey, take a sip. Cheers. Cheers. That's pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. So, for me again, I'm still getting a little wow. creaminess. I'm getting the traditional vanilla, uh, caramel, uh, milk chocolate, and I'm getting more of that cola. Wow. Um, um, I'm picking a lot, kind of a different, different, little tannins, different, different flavors from you, from you are. I'm getting kind of a big spice ball. Ooh, spice ball, really? I'm getting, I'm getting spice like mid palate. But a hot spice or just like a, because I, I don't think it's a hot spice at all. No, it's just it's it, it's I guess some of the spice you would get from like from from mint or from from the spearmint or something like that. Like a spice. Um, a little bit of like, uh, and even like some of that, baking spices, nutmeg, um, cinnamon. Um, not making cinnamon. Let me see. I think I have cinnamon on the more on the finish for me. It's like mid palate, but I kind of get that flat cola now. Like okay. I, I can taste, I can taste that flat cola, that flat. It's a little bit of creamy, um, but it's like a <clears throat> flat soda. No, none of that chocolate or anything like that. Like, yeah, chocolate, uh, almost like uh, coffee. Yep. Um, and, and remember those those um, chocolates. That it, it came in a tin foil, it was shaped as an orange, and you peel it. was like little orange. Oh, peel. Yeah, 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 okay. I get a little hint of that. I could definitely get a little citrus, a little okay. orange vest. Okay, I thought, palette. I thought it was a little crazy, but no, it was more on the end of the palate for me. Yeah, um, no, I did, but that, that's kind what of the same spot. But like, uh, tip of the tongue is really, I don't get a lot of flavor. Uh, tip it's, of the all, tongue. It's, all, it's all kind of mid, it's mid, mid to back palate, right? 100%. Yeah, there's nothing, it's watery on the top of the, in the tip of the tongue. Yes, yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, uh, back end, you know, finish for me. Um, Definitely spices kind of lingering in the finish. Um, yeah. Sticks around for a little bit, not too long. I was getting uh, pepper before, but I'm not getting any pepper now. I get dry tannins though, for sure, at the end. Yeah, the, um, it, you know what? I, I do get a little like white pepper on the back end. Oh, you do? Okay, so maybe that's what I had before. I'm uh, not getting it right now though. It's like uh -huh. dry, um, hmm. white, uh, you know, white pepper, um, a little bit of dry oak. Um, it's not as creamy as I remember it. No. Um, I, I tell you, Pete, when I opened it up, it, it was, was perfect the way I, I liked it, just the way it was on the fresh crack. Okay. Because it was so, it was like that buttercream that you, you put like on a, on yeah. a cake, yeah, yeah. like that, like yeah. fresh dough made yeah. with that confectionery sugar and sweetness. Okay. It, it's mellowed out. It's not like that anymore. Um, um, it, and I kind of am enjoying it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, doesn't drink like a hundred proof. Mm -mm. Uh, you know, nothing more than that. No. Um, the spices for me kind of give it a little bit extra zip to it. Yeah. Um, dry oak. On the finish. On the finish. But, yeah. It's very dry on the finish. Um, it's a good dry. It's interesting. Um, just to comment on the mash bill again. Mm -hmm. The rhyme and rye. Um, sometimes you see different ryes and what they do to. The flavors, so I'm not knowing a lot about rhyme and rye. No, um, it's interesting, kind of the the mid palate flavors that kind of come out here. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it would be interesting to find another uh, rye that's made that way. Oh, the, uh, yeah, yeah, to right? see what kind of flavor you have. Um, hmm. I, I think it's it's a very good bottle. I think the price point and under a hundred dollars is great. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially that you get someone that was a master stiller for you know four roses who yeah. really did amazing stuff for them and yeah and you know has 20 30 years worth of experience um, and you know is creating his own um, 
pretty neat. Uh, and again, I haven't seen it in Connecticut in a, a year yeah. or two, so I was kind of taken away when I saw it. And yeah. Then I'll tell you, I had to get it. I like the flavor profile. It's on my tongue afterwards. Yeah. Um, I, I, the finish is to Ruby is a little, little bit of tongue hug, mm -hmm. a little bit of spices, you know, going down. Uh, but the flavor on my on my palate afterwards that linger, uh, it's pretty solid. A little earthiness on the on the that. Yeah, I can see some of the chocolates and the coffee. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, some some like you know, very earthy. Earthy is a yeah. good call. Uh, and I've been getting a lot of those higher rise, hundred percent rise. Uh, I, I am getting that same nose a little bit. Uh, it, it's it's very nice. Uh, a little cream corn too. Interesting. I don't know if I mentioned that before. No, it's a... Uh, uh, a little tobacco now, too. Afterwards, are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty good pour. Pretty good pour. Not heavy on the on the palate, though. It kind of... Again, the front was a little light, and then it's all yeah. back-ended. But then it kind of just... It just goes for another Is pour. You get, a short, a short, you get a short finish for you? Yeah, no. For some reason, I, I, get, I get a lot of remaining flavor on, on my, my tongue, on my palate. Uh, no, like it said, goes... It, it, for me, it goes away. Quick. Yeah, I mean, medium to light finish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A little bit of warmth. Like you said, you said Kentucky Hug you had a little bit. A little bit, yeah, a little bit going down. Oh, it is from Kentucky. It is from Kentucky, it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh, I, this is the first uh, Creamy Kentucky product I've had. Same. So I've always wanted, yeah. always wanted to try their stuff. I'd love to try their bourbon if we could find it. Yeah. Um, definitely one of those tough to find. Rye yeah, they make, a, they make a rye, too. Another or, another rye? Is it the rye or the bourbon that's 100 and... It's over 100 I think proof. the bourbon is 100, over, 100. over 100 proof. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's like 113 that, or something like that. Something like that. Um, and that's aged, you know, over mm. nine years, nine to 11 years or something like that. Years, yeah. So that would be interesting uh, yeah. to see what that's about. Maybe we'll find it. I yeah. don't know. Cool pour. Um, uh, yeah. I enjoyed it. Would, would you buy it for uh, under $90, under 100 bucks? Sight unseen and never having it before? Yeah. I would buy it for that price. Now, would you now, buy it again? having it... If I if I called you up tomorrow and said, "Hey, I found a bottle," would you say pick it up? I probably would, but I think I've been kind of leaning a little bit away from rye lately. Yeah. Um, I think I, I prefer bourbon over rye. Man, that's weird. Is it how much point our time change? Because because uh, we we, we flip flop. We flip flopped. Yeah. Um. So like I a bit I will I will primarily reach for bourbon first. Yeah. Um. I I kind of almost need to be a little bit a little bit in the mood for for rye mm -hmm. and rye spice. Um, you know, I still have my go to that I really like that I'll drink no matter what. Yeah. Um, but um, no, I would I would accept I would buy it I would buy it for that price. I like the um, I really like the nose. I love the aromas going on. Yeah, it's got a unique nose. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it's uh like I would sip on this for a little while, sit there and sip on it for a little bit, and and the and the palate I think is very good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think it's a, well, especially it's kind of cool on the shelf too. It is. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't. Have something cool and different on the shelf. Especially with his name. Like I said, and I think the mash bill is kind of neat. The, the, the rhyme and rye, I think it's kind of, you know, oh, yeah. it's interesting what it brings to the table. It does, and it's, uh, I'll tell you, even going back, even though we said it's age, what, four to six, somewhere around there, I think mm -hmm. we saw six, right? I mean, it's got a nice color for six years too it does. as well. It's, it's, uh. And, not, and very good flavor for underproof. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I like it. Me too. I'd buy it again at that price. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that where I purchased it, local here in Connecticut, uh, still has a bottle of it because I am going to go back and pick one up probably. There you go. Um, so well, it's disappearing. You know it's, dis it's, it's disappearing quickly, so you might as well. It is. It well, is. So, I enjoyed it. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, um, thanks. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, like, subscribe, follow. Appreciate your support. Love yeah. to hear what you think. Yeah. Um, Check yeah. out our other videos, leave yeah. some comments. Absolutely. And then, uh, what can we do better? What, you know, whatever. Most or of suggestions all, of bottles. And most of all, enjoy your whiskey. Yeah. That's all. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I'm empty. Oh, you're empty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. A little noise. Mm. That was good. Cream of Kentucky. I like it. I like it. Double rich. I would say Ooh. it's pretty rich. It was rich. Yeah. It's good.